Hello everyone, this is Ming Zhong. So welcome to this video. So in today's video, I'm going to uh, talk about how to actually identify uh, support and resistance in day trading so that you can prepare uh, for your day trading session. All right, so let's get started. I will just uh, use the S&P 500 e-mini futures as an example. Um, I'll just assume, I'll, I think probably I'll uh, run through two uh, case studies uh, once using uh, last uh, actually yesterday's session and also on a Thursday session as well so just this two bar here so to see how um, can actually prepare uh, for the day trading session by drawing up uh, key levels uh, around the support and resistance all right so basically uh, i will look at the uh, daily charts just to give me a feel of how the price is moving and some kind of the bias for example as uh, we can see here um, yes actually forming higher high higher low and definitely in an uptrend and we see that uh, um, there isn't any excessive of, of the supply and also there isn't any um, very bearish threatening bar so I would say that um, since uh, the unwinding of the uh, volatility index, the VIX level, uh, we see that um, ES or the E-mini futures actually just uh, moving up uh, slow and nice. So I think my bias is still up at the moment. All right, let's um, go into H1 time frame. Okay, so let's just pretend uh, we're going uh, into the Friday US session. So just before that, uh, this is around, yep, yeah, that's eight o'clock. Okay, so first of all, uh, I think I will just uh, draw up uh, the levels that I definitely pay attention to, such as um, during the US, the previous day, high and low, and also uh, during the non uh, non regular trading hours like the asian session and the london session high and low um which i call it the, the non rth uh they high uh, non non rth low and high so for previous days high and low i think that is thursday so i'll just draw up the day low here and I'll just change the color here. So this is a day low on Thursday. Uh, I think this one, eight, nine, I think this is the day high. All right, so we have marked the day low and day high. Now we want to mark up um, the non-regular trading hours high, which is here. Okay, move it up a bit. Okay, this is the Asian or London session high. And we also want to mark the low as well. I'm sure this one, okay. I think this is the, the non-RTH low here. And I will just differentiate uh, by using a dotted line so that I know that this actually represents um, day high uh, and day low during the non-regular trading hours and subsequently uh, another thing that I would like to pay attention to is the swing high and low and also the structure as well so for this example because we actually see a gap gapping action here so I think that definitely is uh, something that we want to pay attention to so by itself the gap is one level so this is the level that we need to pay attention to the gap here and also if we look at the structures we see that after the gap up um, the price actually bouncing uh, around this region so this is basically a trading range i think this is one of the key level as well so I'll just um, mark this level and subsequently I will also uh, 
um, look at uh, the levels from a few days ago as we can see here um, this is another trading range so I would say definitely this level okay so this swing high here actually coincides with the gap area so I will just uh, ignore that and this is a support level I'll just uh, mark this up okay so this is how I actually uh, draw up the key levels to prepare for uh, the day trading session during the um, US session so let's look at uh, what happened during the session and see how the price react with the levels that we draw up okay let's just delete this and extend this level and let's extend the okay all right so let's turn into a smaller time frame which is the trading time frame my preferred trading time frame is actually m3 so this is uh, my preferred trading time frame and let's extend this as well okay okay so during the um u.s session we see that the opening bar just uh, drive down and subsequently uh, we are just right uh, into this gapping area I think this actually provide uh, some kind of the uh, support to this price and actually it's just bounce back but once it hit the levels which is the um, swing low here and actually get rejected and have another reaction uh, goes lower and to actually just uh, almost hitting the previous uh, area the previous levels uh, the swing this is a swing highs from a previous level if we look at h1 so it's almost uh, touched this level so you can see how um, the price actually uh, interact uh, with the levels and within the trading time frame uh, we can actually draw up a few more levels uh, once uh, it evolves such as the day low sorry the swing low here this is the swing low form here so as the trading um, just uh, going on we can see that this swing low actually gets uh, reacted re re as well actually just uh, spring the swing low and subsequently just rally up have another reaction test and then rally up and eventually it just drive the price very close to the, the swing low but uh, not even touch the low suggest that um, it's actually not that bearish for this move so after the reversal then we have a very uh, sharp rally up so as you can see um, the levels actually uh, show that the price uh, does react with the levels and this is how we can just uh, take advantage of uh, day trading sessions and to trade uh, very close to this this sort of level uh, on a reversal on a reversal and probably on the reversal here as well okay so this is uh, for the levels uh, this is the sum of the resistance and the support levels draw up for the Friday session let's look at uh, another uh, case which is a Thursday level okay let's go back to uh, H1 time frame so let's just pretend that we are preparing uh, for Thursday level the th Thursday trading session okay let's just hide this so this is just right before um, Thursday uh, trading session the US hours trading sessions and we just need to prepare for this 
uh, support and resistance levels and other key levels in order to trade during the US sessions. So first of all, as usual, I would like to uh, draw up the day high and day low of the previous day, which is on a Wednesday. Uh, this is the day low and I think this is the day high here okay and subsequently uh, just draw up the non RTH high and also the uh, non RTH low and I'll just ch change this to dotted line so that I can differentiate and non RTH low as well okay and what else um a few days ago probably um, I think this is another level and also this one is another level as well so you can see that um, sometimes that um, the levels from a few days actually coincides uh, with uh, the previous day high and day low so that means that um, this kind of level is definitely provide um, some kind of the price reaction that's why we see the overlapping and I think that's uh, pretty much it we just uh, marked up the day high day low um, also the swing high swing low and also uh, uh, swing high from a few days so let's just see what happened uh, on on a Thursday uh, and just uh, extend this here and let's extend this extend this and this as well okay um, so we can see that actually get rejected um, from the day high let's uh, look at um, trading time frame uh, M3 there's a Friday session and that is a Thursday session yep okay so uh, as you can see I think we have some kind of the news event here um, even uh, it's before the trading uh, session just uh, the, the news event actually drive up but also get rejected and subsequently we tested this level but also uh, uh, get rejected as well so this is a level uh, which the price will react uh, very nicely so as you can see that uh, during the price opening um, just on a second candle it just straight down shows some rejection here and subsequently it just uh, drive the price uh, very close to the, the low level here but it didn't really touch it so the second swing up here we actually have a test and another up trust here so this actually uh, some kind of the trading opportunities for th for the first uh, first uh, highlighted area it probably uh, will have uh, a stop loss above maybe you will get stopped out but uh, for the second uh, rejection shown here which is a uh, uptrust uh, type of the uh, price action then we'll definitely have a, a good run and the first one uh, after the price getting rejected here probably this is a good place to uh, initiate some kind of the short entry as well so this is pretty much a simple way to draw up um, the levels and <clears throat> in order to see how you actually uh, interact uh, with the levels so that we can trade accordingly so as you can see um, we might not get a hundred percent winning rate for example the, probably the first one I think will get a pretty good run as a win the second rejection if we enter uh, after the uh, reversal then we probably have a stop above then 
uh, I think it will get stopped out by the third um, rejection or the uptrust signal here will get us a very good trade if we enter uh, after the uptrust from here and then to ride all the way down so this is uh, how we can actually uh, trade uh, according to the support and resistance line yeah so pretty good it's like two uh, rr of above two so basically uh, just a very simple uh, techniques to draw up the support and resistance uh, by focusing on the day high day low non rth high non rth low and swing high swing low and gapping area this sort of the very obvious levels and to see how the price actually interacts uh, with the levels and then to trade accordingly so that's it uh, for this video and i hope you get something out from this video if you enjoy this video just uh, uh, hover to my uh, image and click the follow to follow me uh, and also to subscribe on this uh, video channel so that you can get instant notification uh, should the next video idea comes out all right um thank you for watching i will talk to you soon bye bye